So, uh, hello, we are group seven uh, for the basketball set analysis tool. Our group is composed of myself, Brian, Rahul, Vibhu, uh, Rahul Kulkarni, Vibhu Arul Sultanathan, uh, Mishal Mahudin, and Peter Kruzlik. Uh, our basketball set play analysis is based on a, a u user need that we found from our stakeholders who are high school basketball coaches. They don't have a lot of time to go through and break down a standard basketball, co basketball uh, game tape to figure out where, where they need to improve. So what we decided to do was create a visualization for them to actually see where different fouls and fouls and violations were occurring so they could tell when a play was ending. The two ways that a play could end is through a through a basket being scored, which are the successful plays, where we don't really need to have them analyzing, or through a foul or violation, which are the ones where they're gonna to wanna to make improvements. So based on our on our user interface, the player can go and actually look at an individual dot and see that there's a blocking foul that occurred at this time and what the player number is that caused that foul from there. So they have an exploratory view to actually look at the different trends and be able to actually isolate based on different um, fouls that occur. From there they could actually they can go and actually go look at the individual team and their plays and see that the that a certain player was called the foul and when it occurred so that they can then then go and map that to their video. So if we're talking to some of the stakeholders, uh, high school teachers within this area for coaching basketball teams, they discussed that a foul or a violation correlates directly to a failure in executing a set play. So our system, by tracking a referee's movements and gestures, will be able to actually capture that set break due to a foul, associate that back to a player number, and actually have the coach analyze the, uh, the set play that's actually occurring. So one case that we're actually going to run through that we've actually talked to a coach and they said it was a great sort of scenario was, let's say a player has occurred uh, on our graph, a player has committed five fouls in the last five minutes of a game. A coach can easily see that these players, have, as one player has committed the foul, and track back and say, okay, now that this player has committed the foul, in training or in practice, we need to have this specific player improve uh, their execution of a set play. So our system goes from analyzing the actual physical game plan real time to get a capture to capture a gesture from a referee and to transmit that data to a graph or some visualization to help uh, a coach analyze set plays. So even though the primary stakeholders of our system is the coach, the majority of the user input will be coming from the referee during a basketball game. Uh, the majority of the set breaks that we'll be tracking are associated with clock stoppage or dead ball type violations. For example, what we're capturing here is a double foul violation that occurs when two players are charged with a foul at the same time. As Vibra has demonstrated, the foul will then be made in the general direction of the scorekeeper's table, which is where our system will be placed. That foul will then be logged in a database and then output on a mass data visualization for the coach to review after the game. So another common separate occurrence is a blocking foul violation, which is seen in this video. Uh, the referee would then make the gesture towards the scorekeeper's table, as V was demonstrating, which would then be logged as feedback.